Go by the name of Soldier Hard. I'm from uh, Vallejo, California, the Bay Area to be exact. Um, been doing music for a while. I did uh, 10 years in the United States Army. And, um, you know, I'm blessed right now to, uh, now that I recently got out, I'm, I'm, I'm really blessed to do music full time, doing something that I really enjoy to do. Uh, when I was in the Army, I still did music, but it was at a part time basis, you know what I'm saying? So um, I had to put it on pause from time to time. But now now that I'm out, you know, I, I can do music full time. So now I'm ready to let, let everybody know who I am and, and what our stories and what we go through. The biggest struggle I would say was is, is leaving your family. You know what I'm saying? That would be the hardest, the hardest. But you get through it though because the people that you go there with, they become your family. You know what I'm saying? Even if, if, if there, I've been on deployments where I went over there, I didn't even know nobody. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, we went into it and they ended up being my brothers. My civilian life now is, is pretty much music. You know, I give it 110%. Um, also got kids, you know, so I, I, I'm a father. You know, I'm more of a father now than I ever was. You know what I'm saying? Um, and music. Mainly is being a being a daddy in music, man. Every day is music, you know. It's either I'm recording or I'm, you know, traveling to other states and doing doing shows for military events. Cause that's what I do now. Even though like I'm out now, I still serve. I'm still serving through music for troops. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk about what the uh, stories that what we go through. Mama, don't cry. Don't shed tears no more. Cause I'm your son. I love you. I'ma survive this war. Yeah. It's good. I get good feedback. I, I get good feedback. I mean, even like I get like a, 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 I got I got music fans that don't even like hip hop music. You know, they're like I don't like rap at all, but I really love the message that you're sending and stuff like that. For an example, I did a show, you know, in Miami for the Miami uh, Veterans Affairs, and they didn't want to get me to perform because I, you know, they didn't like my style of music and stuff like that. So they had me go on anyway. The powers that be made, let it happen that for me to go fly out there and perform for them. I flew out for them, and, and, and the same people that, that didn't want me to perform, they came up to me and was like, wow, you did a bang up job. You know, your stage presence was great. Your message that you were sending, you had audience, audience participation. You know, they were just, you know, blown away by it. Shame on you yes, because we still here. We're not invisible, yeah. Uh, hip hop out today, it, it's uh, it's out there. You know what I mean? It's now it's really hard to find. You know what I mean? It's like like a uh, like a needle in a haystack. You know what I'm saying? It, it, but it is out there. Rappers that, that trip me out is when they use military slang in their songs like there's you know i heard like for an example i heard i'm not gonna say the artist but he said uh, uh uh i'm a sergeant salute me it makes no sense at all sergeants don't get saluted you know <laughs> and i'm like okay you actually talk about something you don't know you know what i'm saying so yeah but we can go back to what we we're talking about you know um there are good artists out there but you just got to find it you know what i mean even like in my area in the bay area there's a lot of talent out here there's a lot of talent out here that the music industry don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? And I think there it's going back to the fake artists and the ones that really shouldn't be rapping is messing it up a, a lot for the talented artists. And not just my area, it, everywhere. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of organizations, a lot of nonprofit organizations that I work with right now that I volunteer my time with them, my services with them, whether it's they're putting on events and I'll go out there and perform for free uh, for the troops and their families and stuff like that. There's um, a lot, of, like AVET, there's this one called AVET Project. I, I'm working with them, a dollar to care. Uh, I'm working with them and just a whole lot of, uh, uh, non Operation Blue Phoenix is another one. Uh, we got the warrior distress line. If if a troop who's going through stress and you know having a hard times, they call the warrior distress line. 
they'll hear me, you know what I mean? I did the voice recording for it. Thank you for calling the Warrior Distress Line, you know what I'm saying? Press one, press two, whatnot, and stuff like that. So I work with a lot of nonprofits and um, volunteering my time and, and servicing, serving any way I can, if it's just through music, served our country in battle, and even though I'm out now, I still gotta, you know, I still gotta serve. And that's what I'm doing right now, so yeah. If anybody want to find more information on me, it's, it's real simple. All you got to go is www.soldierhard.com. Um, and all my information's up on there. I got other links to all other social networks that I'm on. Facebook, Reverb Nation, Bandcamp. I'm on so many. Twitter. You know what I mean? Yeah, but basically go to soldierhard.com, www.soldierhard.com. You'll get some free music downloads on there too. So, uh, yeah. Bad days anymore. I'm proud of my flag and I fought in the war. Yeah, before I stand in the toy, ignore a veteran down.